LeBron James posted and later deleted a tweet on Wednesday, that was yesterday, in regards to a fatal shooting of Micaiah Bryant, a 16-year-old girl in Columbus, Ohio. Remember, there's been protests in, uh, in Columbus due to the shooting. So uh, the since-deleted tweet by James showed a picture of Nicholas Reardon, who's the officer, he's white, accompanied with a caption, your next hashtag accountability alongside an hourglass emoji. Now, body cam footage released by the Columbus Division of Police showed the same officer, Nicholas Reardon, getting out of his car at a house where police had been dispatched after someone called 911 saying they'd been, a phys- they'd been physically threatened. As officers walked towards a group of people in the driveway, Bryant can be seen swinging a knife wildly at another girl or woman who falls backwards. Officer shouts several times to get down. Bryant then charges another girl or woman who is pinned against the car from a few feet away with people on either side of him. The officer fires four shots and Brian slumps to the ground. The knife lies in the sidewalk next to her. So I basically look, he heard the story. He tweeted about the story and he said, accountability, you're next. That of course is in regards to Derek Chauvin. It is a wildly and crazily a embarrassing and overzealous attempt at essentially uh, essentially um what's what's the word i'm looking for where uh where where people it's not martial law when when people uh when you take matters in your own hands god what is nah, it's three justice but there's a bigger word vigilantism vigilantism it it's embarrassing it happened before with the charlotte riots when uh, a woman posted on Facebook that her husband was about to get shot by police. And then later footage showed that the guy had a gun. They told him to put it down. He had suffered some brain damage in a motorcycle accident. He, he lifted the gun up towards the cops and it was essentially suicide by police. Right. I, I just, so LeBron says his, his apology is anger. Does any of us any good and that includes myself gathering all the facts and educating does my anger is still here at what happened to that little girl my sympathy for her and her family may justice prevail i'm so damn tired of seeing black people killed by police i took down the tweet because it's being used to create more hate this isn't about one officer it's about an entire system and they always use our words to create more racism i'm desperate for their more accountability what are you talking about like, just go, hey, I got it wrong. I'm super sorry. I, I, I overreacted. Like, you want accountability? Where's your accountability? I, I just, I have no hate towards LeBron James, but what, what a joke. You got 49.6 million followers and you took a, you had a photo of this cop and said accountability, like, that that vigilante justice when you don't have any of the facts you weren't there and you had it one hundred percent wrong one hundred percent. What about the woman who was being attacked by the knife wielding now dead person? <laughs> right. Like the police officer did his job. Would I, would I, would you like a police officer to go in there and take the knife and twist her arm and lock her up? Like, sure. Okay. But the reality is if you were a cop, you're a person in charge. You'd be like, freeze, freeze, drop the gun, drop the, drop the knife, drop the knife. You're going to, they attack another human being. You're going to, you're going to die. Cops roll up. You have a knife. You go after a person. You're going to get shot. I don't know what world you, it doesn't matter if you're white, black, brown. It does not matter. Am I against police brutality? Of course. Do I think people of color have been misjudged by police officers? Of course. I'm, I'm a realistic person here and there are some changes, but not for that. And what all you have to say is, Hey, I was wrong. I apologize. Will the damage be completely undone? No, no. But, but, God, what a bad look. Because now everything you post is tinted with that. That's just the reality of it. 
You are allowed to make mistakes. You are allowed. You are a human being. That is a big mistake that you made. You are overzealous. It is embarrassing. It's one of the biggest problems with social media. Is we, you, or, you know, it's the idea of like, well, you got a picture of a guy and you, you, you hear a story and it must be true, whatever. Like, it's not true. You had it 100% wrong. You had it 100% wrong. And you're allowed to make mistakes. Okay? That's a big one you made. And I'm not going to... I mean, the police officer did his job. Is that it's the worst part of his job. No, no, no good cop ever wants to use their firearm. Ask any police officer. And I'm not saying there aren't bad cops. There are bad cops. But there are bad people out there. You walk up on a fight and one person has a knife and they're going after people who don't have knives? Like, what? Okay, you didn't know. Like, it was bad. Shouldn't have done it. I mean, and Adam Silver not doing anything? More embarrassing. What are you doing, dude? You're going to suspend Kobe Bryant for... um, for uh, was it uh, anti-homosexual derogatory word that he yelled at a referee, right? You're not going to do anything with LeBron James did when he's got 49.6 million followers. Like you say something in a game, a microphone might or might not pick it up. How many people are watching, really watching and paying attention? LeBron James has 50 million followers. And oh yeah, by the way, I'm going to guess that tweet, it gets retweeted. It, 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 it's like, to the fourth or fifth power in terms of how many people see it. Not only did you get it wrong and did you put somebody's life in danger and did you cast police in a negative light, but even now you won't come down off of it. Even now you won't. While asking for accountability, this is the biggest problem. Like, look, my, my, a big moment in my career was my head coach, may he rest in peace, and I am honored to have played a very small part in trying to help him get into the Naismith Memorial Hall of Fame. My former head coach's name is Eddie Sutton. And he'll be inducted, along with Kobe Bryant, and both the past two classes into the Hall of Fame upcoming in May, May 15th. He got a DUI, he blew a point two one. He was a recovering alcoholic from his days at Kentucky, and he nearly killed a lady, drove her off the road. And I went on to Sports Center and I said, Look, he always preached accountability. And I'm sorry, but if you're an alcoholic and you're going to a team function and you almost kill a lady and you, you were going to a team plane, like accountability means you can't coach anymore. Right? That's if you if you preach accountability, you have to be accountable yourself. I just and and how does the NBA not do anything? Nothing. Zero. Nothing. Crickets.